Hey everyone, I just wanted to do another what's in the box review. A miniature came in the mail yesterday that I think is pretty cool and I just wanted to share it with everybody. I saw this on Figuratively Speaking's Instagram page and she did a pretty cool build up of it and I was like, oh man, I need one of those. So without further ado, here's the Kapine or Kaipine. I've never actually heard it pronounced. Dungeons and Dragons monster, you know how it goes, but I think it's Kapine. And here it is, the Kapine from Boss Monster Minis. Um, I think it's, like I said, I think it's Kapine. Someone leave it in the comments if I'm being a complete idiot and it's Kaipine, which sounds strange to me. But this is a great piece. It's five pieces. You get the figure and a really cool base. And it's 3D printed, which I'm not sure if I have any other 3D printed pieces. I have so many things. Um, some of them feel like they might be, but this one definitely is. And there's some great things to that, and I think there's a couple little drawbacks to that. Number one, it's really, 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 really fragile. Um, the only damage that came in the mail, it's missing a bit of the antler right there. And I might actually just leave it, because I kind of like that it helps it look old and maybe damaged. And it might add more character to the piece. Um, and the other thing is you lose some detail, and there's a couple little bubbles down here and things from the printing process. You lose some of that feather detail, but otherwise the really cool thing about like this, those feathers, these spines in his back just look amazing. And I don't think you'd be able to pull that off with a traditionally sculpted piece. The feet are super, super detailed for how small they are. Let's see if I can get it to focus super detailed for how small they are. And there's just some minimal cleanup on there that you're going to have to do. And this thing looks amazing. There's a ton of character to this piece. It looks super sinister, which I love. And it is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be at first. When I first saw this over on Figuratively Speaking Minnie's Instagram page, and I asked her where you got it, she got it from, and she told me, which is Boss Monster Minis on Etsy, um... I didn't know how big it was going to be. And I figured it was roughly about this, but it's a little bigger than I thought, which is kind of cool. But it, the plugs, they fit ni really nice together. They're not going to have a lot of, to do to uh, hide that seam there. I mean, there's a little bit of work. Let's get in there, camera. Come on. It's all over the place. Um, why is it not focusing? There we go. It's uh, <laughs> It fits together really well. The, the wings and arms fit together well. There is a bit of work you're going to have to do to hide that mold line because it's so delicate in there, or that part joint. Um, but the cool thing I like about the wings, and this I don't think you could have done any other way unless you were printing it, they're so thin that light, they're translucent. So you can see light through them, which is going to help to make a really cool effect when you actually paint them. So when I'm going to paint this, I probably won't prime this. I'll probably mask it off and then do it with some washes so you can kind of see, even though I'll just spray some dull coat on there as a primer, but um, yeah, I wanna be able to have some of that light shining through there. And I think if the more paint you layer up on that, uh, the less it's gonna have that quality to it. Um, when it gets to the base, you can really start to see how detailed it actually is. It's hard to see unprimed what it looks like and how many little layers of bark and tree and moss and things are in there. But it's a really, really well detailed piece and it goes together really well. And I'm trying, like, it's really hard for me to kind of plug this up, but I want you to kind of see how it sits on the base. This one foot kind of goes off there and then he's kind of climbing on this tree. So my goal is I kind of want to, I've been scaling things down to make some smaller things. I was thinking to make a little waterfall with, you know, this coming out of the water and things. But as far as a D&D piece to play games with, it's very fragile. And I would be <laughs> scared to play with it. But it's a great little piece, great model kit. Um, and it was only 25 bucks, And that's a steal for something this cool. Shipping was cheap. Um, again, I don't know if this antler broke in shipping or if I broke it and I lost the piece. Because when I, I didn't notice it when I first got it and now I did. I might sharpen these up a little more with some sandpaper, but man, those spines, these feathers, like just, there's a ton of cool detail in there. Um, some of this needs to get taken out and sanded down and cleared up, but it's a model kit. I'm not one of those guys that'll be like, oh, it needs to be just plug and paint and go. 
it i mean you should have to do some work sometimes to make things look great but it's a great piece if you get a chance check it out it's boss monster minis his name's tobias brunner and really affordable support the little guy give him a chance i mean little guy in terms of not a big company i don't know how big or small he is but this is a great piece and i think i've only seen one other video on youtube by it and about it but check it out the Kapine from Boss Monster Minis. Great little piece. Talk to you next time.